Hello everyone. Welcome to Life Sciences with Jyoti Shree. This is the communication skill segment and I am Shrikant. So let us uh, dive into the topic. What is communication? Communication is the activity or process of expressing ideas and feelings or of giving people information and instructions. Well, it is pretty self-explanatory, but it is just like um, passing information from one mind to another or to many. Right? So it is as simple as that. We have been doing that for a very long time. But let's understand the science behind it or the rules of, uh, you know, the professional rules or also, and, and let's also see how effectively we are communicating. And uh, listening is a very important part of communication. And uh, let us see the difference between hearing versus listening. Now, hearing is a natural process, a physical and passive process. So hearing just is, is, is the human science, you know, sound waves passing through your eardrum. That's all. So whether you want to listen to it or not, you know, you will hear it, right? But you will not understand, you, you will not try to understand, you will not try to analyze. And uh, because you have to give a reply, you, you will uh, instantly give uh, some kind of an answer. Now listening is a bit different, where you hear the information you analyze it you understand it you will see the different options of the reply and give the correct reply right so that shows a different kind of an impact so giving an answer or a reply with hearing giving a reply or an answer by listening will definitely show two different outcomes so end of the day we are communicating for outcome right outcome can be it can be uh, outcome of a situation it can be the outcome of a question or anything so it is very important to listen rather than hear now ways of communication so generally we think that whatever when we are trying to communicate we mostly think that uh, you know I'm, I'm speaking the right words so I'm communicating now, well not exactly because words only consist of 7% of whatever you're communicating and your body language is 55% and your tone is 38% so it is very very important to communicate very properly when you're speaking to someone on a phone because more than half of your communication is basically done with your body language correct now apart from that why uh, we know words so that is what we speak so body language is basically the posture that you stand that you sit or the way you move your hands, the way you place your hands or your facial expressions that is that is basically your body language which speaks a lot and your tone which is uh, which, which consists almost half of your communication now let's see the body language do you know that most of the experts can tell whether you are lying or not just looking at your body postures okay you might be saying something so those are the words so they will not be considering the words to determine whether you're telling the truth or not they will look at your body posture okay and they can easily tell whether you're lying or not so that's how important your body posture is while communicating and now let us come to the tone so tone consists of 38 percent which is almost you know uh, half uh, of your total communication let's see how it works let's take a sentence and see uh, the tone and see if it is making a difference okay the sentence is are you coming with me okay if I say are you coming with me which basically means that I was expecting someone else to come with me but uh, you are coming with me 
right so that intonation that stress on the word you will basically tell the other person that okay he's not expecting me he's expecting someone else right now let us see the same sentence once again are you coming with me which basically means that i was uh, expecting that you will be going with someone else but not me right so the question the stress is on the word me so stressing or the the or the intonation or the sound you know that i make at a particular word will completely and uh, totally change the meaning or at least the intention of the person who is speaking or the person who is listening so that's how important tone is so effective communication when we are talking about effective communication we also must understand the barriers of communication barriers are nothing but something which is stopping you from effectively communicating so let us see uh, everyone knows that definitely noise uh, will definitely stop you from communicating effectively okay it is self explanatory there is nothing much to explain there inappropriate medium so what is inappropriate medium let's say there are three modes of communication one is physical one is through telephone and one is through email you're trying to communicate uh, with someone with all three uh, all these three mediums so there is a point where you have to meet someone and explain them completely about something but you have just sent an email so the outcome will definitely differ sometimes you just have to send an email but you physically went there and you have spoken to that person and came back it's time consuming and it it's also uh, you know you're not trying to there is very simple fact that you will have to communicate but you have elaborated so definitely the outcome again differs so you have to choose the appropriate medium while communicating so we are talking in this as we are talking this professionally i'm i'm talking about clients or customers right so you have to communicate with them appropriately assumptions well assumption is something which is very problematic assumption just means that every day something happens at the same time with the same person let's assume that every day at afternoon 12 o'clock you have to take a break if you have not taken a break for 15 minutes your team leader or your manager will come to your desk and tell you that you will have to take a break so one particular day your manager just came at uh, 12:50 you have just assumed that he is here to remind you about the break you have just locked your lock station and walked away seriously well he just came to tell you that there is an increase in the salary and you missed it so yes uh, as assumption is something which is very problematic so yes i i do agree that we know uh, sometimes that usual things uh, you know it can be time consuming but make sure that professionally when you are approaching something you do not assume anything you wait you wait for the uh, you know the person to speak something then you listen to it then you take a decision but do not assume something okay that is how important uh, you know uh, not assuming means emotions but emotions also play a very important role while communicating effectively let's say uh, there's a very happy news or there is a very good news for the team but personally you are very sad because of something happened at your home or while you're coming down to office so personally you are uh, very angry or very sad but when you give the information this happy information to the team or to your colleagues or to anyone okay this will definitely not give the correct vibe the positive vibe that it has to because that happy information that good information will drive the team to work better but the negative vibe that you have shown there will definitely lower their energy values so make sure that you know you detach your emotions while at workplace or when you're communicating something effectively the switching on and switching off of your personal mindset is very very important and language difference it's very self explanatory you cannot speak to a chinese man in hindi or you cannot speak to a hindi person in chinese 
obviously they don't understand right now poor listening skills nothing but the point that we have discussed earlier which is the difference between hearing and listening so poor listening skills is nothing but you just are hearing but not listening to it distractions distractions is when you're looking somewhere and when you're listening to something which is very important or you're uh you know just hearing something which is not important and looking at something which is very important so definitely that is a distraction and definitely you will not be able to process the information that has to while you are not paying attention to what is important so make sure while you're trying to communicate properly or while you're trying to listen or while you're trying to look something which is very important make sure that you are not distracted and you are very attentive weight is model so this is something which is very important and you know th- there is less to explain here and there is more to understand let me try now let's uh, take an example of a four sided box which has black and white on its opposite color i have placed that box in between two people who are sitting opposite now from the perspective of the per- from uh, person one point of view he is looking at the black part of the box there's nothing wrong for him to think that you know the whole box is black and the other person is looking at the white part of the box and there's nothing wrong uh, with the uh, person two thinking that the whole box is in white color but the reality is the box has two colors now how do we fix it the person one even though from his point of view he is looking at the black color he can definitely ask person number 2 to tell him what color is he looking at when he says that it is white color then the person one has to understand that the particular box has two colors but it's not one whole color right so the perception is perception means the point of view from where you're sitting it can be from where you're sitting it can be a situation okay so the way you look at it is totally different from the actual reality now what you look at is the black color the reality is the box has two colors